All right. I appreciate it. And Godspeed. All right. Now, I want to bring in on the talk side of this in terms of is there any room um, for negotiation right now, at least. Aaron David Miller, uh, former uh, Middle East peace negotiator. Uh, good to see you. Thank you for staying in touch with me when I was over there and helping me through. Um, is it uh, is there any chance of a dynamic now of, uh, all right, hold on, everybody just calm down. Let's sit down and talk about how to uh, get your people back if you want them, and here's what we want. Is there any chance of that? You know, I hate to speculate, particularly as you know, we talked about this the other day, Chris, on the hostage thing. I, I don't think Hamas is in, in, in any mood for a serious negotiation. They released a video today, tonight, which I, I haven't seen um uh, a, a certain network, I think, was made the right decision in not showing it, uh, which is uh, a video of a 21-year-old um, uh, stolen person hostage yeah. having her arm bandaged with uh, hair and makeup uh, made up. Uh, you yeah. tell me. I mean, th this is gamesmanship and it's psychological torture. Would the Israelis um agree? To anything short of a comprehensive, no strings attached uh, release of the hostage right now? Would they settle for a partial deal? I'm not sure. No. Uh, why would Tony Blinken, first of all, I love that um, Israel and um, the United States have agreed that you have to have uh, conduits for humanitarian aid on the ground. It's very important. Uh, there, you know, the degree of human suffering uh, people in this country seem to be struggling with distinguishing between Palestinians and Hamas as if Hamas were an agent of their interests. Uh, but why say that the president of the United States is going to go there on Wednesday? Why, why don't you just put a bullseye in the guy's back? Well, there's there are risks. The president's been to Ukraine uh, and Afghanistan. I mean, I I think um, in essence, that uh, this his mission is to do a couple things, and frankly, I I, I think it's not a bad idea. It gives uh, President Biden a chance to sit with uh, Mr. Netanyahu, Prime Minister Netanyahu, uh, to discuss honestly what the objectives of a ground campaign in in Gaza are. It buys time to allow more evacuation, or actually, it's not evacuation; it's the movement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians in Gaza City farther south. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.